Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing some Marvel toys and this Paw Patrol jet, which will be serving a purpose as my Avengers jet. Because this is so totally like something the Avengers would use. We'll look at the figures in the front first. Toys in the front. First, we got this jet, which I got Iron Man flying it. I'm gonna repurpose this jet and just get cover up these stickers with Avengers stickers, even on the engines themselves. And this will be my custom Avengers jet. Functionality. It opens up here, so you could probably put a Avengers motorcycle in it. Just because, which kind of motorcycle can you fit in there? I got one of these Play School Heroes figures. You can store that in there. Spider-Man can come out of the back. The propellers spin pretty good. They spin. And they go up like this, so they can hover into the sky and then go like this, which is pretty cool. My number one favorite toy of this year of 2023. That's going on my shelf. Next on the list, I got this little dune buggy Spider-Man. It rolls very well and the figure doesn't come out. We got this vehicle that can fit this Spider-Man figure I own that doesn't stand on his own. It rolls very well. And it comes open so the vehicle can be like flying. My flying mo three wheel motorcycle. Take this, Green Goblin. Oh, yeah. Love that. And that's what that toy does, and it's pretty awesome. Oh, and these, you can pull out these if I can get them to work. Yeah. And it makes the look look pretty cool. My first Spider-Man vehicle with an action figure. Next on the list, we got this motorcycle. Noise-making toy. It rolls. Rolling things should. We're going to turn this on. And it lights up in junk. We're going to show off what else it can do once we get done with the action figures. Next on the list, we got myself a big scale Guardians of the Galaxy rocket raccoon with his big rifle. You know, like, take this, Thanos. You don't mess with the rocket. You don't mess with rocket. Or he'll kick your butt and blast you into next week. He'll bl I'll blast you into next week, Thanos. That's my rocket raccoon voice for comparisons. Here we got the other Guardians of the Galaxy. We got Groot. Gamora. And Star-Lord. I don't have Drax or the other members of the Guardians, but I have these ones, which are pretty cool. Guardians are probably going to get their own shelf. But just for comparison, here he is next to my original Rocket Raccoon figure. This one's the better looking one than this one. And a lot more poseable. No bends at the knee, but the legs get some movement. The arms do too, which I like. And those are going on the shelf for sure. Okay, next on the list. We have a venomized Spider-Man 12 inch. I got this. 12 inch from the thrift store. He's got a broken finger, but he's been taken over by a Venom symbiote. Why not? And that's why he's going on my shelf like this, because he's been Venomized. Okay. Next on the list, we got a mini Spider-Man and Hulk. Spider-Man doesn't have much articulation, the mini one. Hulk has some articulation. Yeah, that jet I actually got for 
free. I didn't pay a dime for it. So that's why it's going to be used as an Avengers jet. And here's a figure I got from the yard sale for only 50 cents for Captain America, the first Avenger. I do have another one of this figure that I will be reviewing next month. Other than that, this is a good figure. No nope, knee articulation. Other than that, the arms are articulated and the head is on a ball joint. You get some movement out of the ball joint. Okay, next on the list, we got Mr. Fantastic of the Fantastic Four. I've almost got the whole team of the Fantastic Four. We got The Thing... We got the Invisible Woman. As of right now, I own three of the Fantastic Four. I still need the Human Torch. I want to get Doctor Doom. And I still need the Silver Surfer. And then my Avengers, my uh, Fantastic Four collection will be complete. But not bad looking figures, if I do say so myself. Articulation with Mr. Fantastic Four. Arms move, but are really tight in their ball joints. Head moves. A lot of wiggly, wobbly movement out of the head. Bend at the knee. No, it's a tight knee bend. Yeah, definitely tight knee bend. Ankle tilt, which is nice. Joints are tight on this copy of mine. But yeah, I love the Fantastic Four as much as I love the Avengers and the Guardians of the Galaxy. But before we end this video, we're going to show off what our toy motorcycle can do. Before we end this video, this Iron Man motorcycle can do. I have to kind of thing down a bit. Let's press the button. Come on. Yeah. Now that is a cool motorcycle novelty Iron Man toy. Heading back to the station. If you liked this video, like I enjoyed making this video, if you liked it, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And we have only, I'm going to count how many days we got till Still City Con, since it will be Friday of this week. So, Monday being one, Tuesday being three, Wednesday being four, Monday be, Sunday being one, Monday being two, Wednesday being four, and Thursday being five. So we got five days until we go to Still City Con. And I'll be picking up some awesome figures. I don't know what I'm going to find, so it is going to be a surprise. Now, before this, we end this video, we got one more pile of stuff to review. And this is the stuff for next week. We got this big basket of random toys starting Tuesday. A lot of them smalls and a couple bigs. So stay tuned to see what's inside the white basket for review week. And I look forward to showing you this toy randomness starting on Tuesday, which will be our last toy review for the convention. I won't be doing any side videos until after the convention. Till at the convention. Yeah, at the convention, which we'll do one on the outside and then a haul video on the on the way out to the car. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.